Right, back in the workshop. Um, I've got the laptop out. Uh, got the Arduino uh, here with the CAN bus shield on the top. Um, got my laptop set up, clock set up. Uh, just got a switch on, and um, we'll start getting some messages. Let's see what we get. We'll power the clocks up first, and I'll power the bike. And as you can see, you can see from that distance, now getting a load of data from the bike. Um, but what I really want to do is get some with the engine running. I'll just open the door. Let's see if I'll start. the amount of data you get is crazy uh, first thing I can see let's just stop this um, let's do unplug that all right so what we'll do now is just go through that data and see if I can spot anything uh, that refers to a message from the ECU um, to the clocks, anything to do with the odometer reading, that's what I'm really after. Um, but we'll have a look at that and see what we find. Alright, uh, this is the data I've just collected from that test run on the bike, I've just put it in, uh, in Excel. So you can filter out some of the um, messages. If we just scroll through, you just see what a vast amount of uh, data that collects. That's why I put it in a spreadsheet, and just makes it a bit easier to read. Um, I've sort of worked out what some of the messages mean. Uh, I think probably the best thing I can do is put all the detail in uh, either in some still shots or some sort of captures put them at the end of the video um, also with some information on the uh, the software that I ran on the Arduino to collect the data um, but basically there's four um, messages there I can find four IDs which is 518, 519, 540 and 550. I've worked out so far, 518 is, um, <coughs> is the RPM, 519 is miles per hour, 540, um, this is information, well the only thing I've managed to work out so far is that the first bite on there is to do with the um, neutral the MIL and the fuel LEDs various com combinations lights those lights up or those LEDs up and the other one is the 550 message the first bite is to do with the coolant bars and the last bite is to do with the fuel gauge bars um, but like I say, I'll put some more information on that at the end. I'll probably make it easier. And I might just, I've, I've written a little, or amended one of the examples that came in the um, library I'm using with the Arduino, or the, uh, or the rather, Canvas Shield library. Um, I've just amended um, 
one of those examples so I can send messages to the actual dashboard that I've got, all the clocks I've got. So what I could do is just set that up and, and show you um, yeah, what what can what messages can send and what I found out so far. Okay, so I'll set that up now. Right, okay, got the laptop set up, got the clocks in place, uh, got the Arduino there, the power supply from the clocks. Uh, right, I don't know how well this will show up. Um, got a little bit of reflection on the clocks. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Power them up first. And plug in the Arduino and straight away you can see hopefully got some MPH going there got some revs going uh, MIL light is on neutral and fuel uh, fuel warning light um, also got bars on the fuel and the coolant as you can see that's sending sending messages um, let's restart this there we go I don't know if you can see I've also just written some code just to display the what the RPM should be the miles per hour should be what the fuel lights are on and all that and all those I can change in the in the software just need to upload it every time to to get different readings um, an interesting thing is I've got some miles obviously got some mile per hour going on the speedo um, and I have run this for a little while before uh, doesn't make any difference whatsoever to the odometer reading uh, even if you set the trips it doesn't do anything this end so the only conclusion I can come up to is the um, odometer reading must be updated from the ECU uh, obviously the ECU gets the signal from the speedo and it must just add up whatever onto the uh, whatever reading is held on the ECU um, but doesn't actually send that complete mileage reading to to the clocks it must just send you know, a plus one mile plus one mile plus one mile whatever and add it on to whatever reading is on the clocks because um, I have read somewhere that even if you have completely new speedo with zero miles on put them on your existing bike it won't pick up your the reading from your ECU which seems a little bit daft to me but there we are that's the way they've decided to do it uh, so I'm still at a little bit of a quandary as to trying to find out what mileage my bike has actually done so obviously you know, if you've seen my previous video you'll know that the mileage on here is these are off a, a sprint these uh, clocks here and that's the mileage that was on that particular bike which is held in a I guess on a memory chip um, in the in the uh, dash uh, so a little bit more investigation is needed I probably need to get uh, a CAN bus for the Arduino which has got a, um, an SD card on it I can then attach it go out for a run and see if that updates anything um, uh, anything on the clocks I have to attach the clocks as well um, which, will, which will mean doing some rewiring on my bike because I have disconnected the, the speedo sensor from the ECU it just at the moment just goes to my A12 speedo um, yeah so that's about all I can do for now like I say I'll put some information on the actual 
software I've used and little bits I've changed and also how to calculate when you get the actual raw data from the um, when you read it from the from the bike how to calculate the revs and the mile per hour and what lights are supposed to be lit and not lit uh, but I'll put that out at the end